Hey man, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Clutch, back with another banger. You already know what time it is. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best jump shot in NBA 2K20. But before we get into this video, if you are new to my channel, this is your first time watching, go ahead and drop a like and hit that subscribe button as we're on the road to 2K subscribers. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell so you never miss a stream or upload. I appreciate all of you guys for taking your time out of your day to do that. Make sure you guys watch this video until the very end, not just for the jump shot, but for some tips and tricks on how to shoot and become a better player on NBA 2K20. Now enough with the talking, let's get right into it. We play with drums like shit is percussion Stay with a hammer like this is construction Drink too much Henny might shoot up the function Not with the cuff and I only want fucking Sipping this doozy I might just start dumping Take down the plug Alright, so starting off, the most important part of shooting good is your badges. Now these badges will help you be more consistent, green more, and just play better in general. Alright, so as you guys see, I get 20 shooting badges. These are the badges every single time I play NBA 2K20, unless if it's the 1v1 court. Now as you guys can see, I have difficult shots on silver, dead eye on silver, and then everything else is Hall of Fame, which is green machine, quick draw, range extender, and hot zone hunter. Those are my badges right there. Sometimes I'll use catch and shoot on bronze, dead eye on gold. It just depends on what I'm feeling like. Or if you're self and you like to fade more, throw on difficult shots. But if you don't like to fade, you don't need difficult shots at all. All right, so moving on. If you guys use a meter on NBA 2K20, take it off right now. You guys are limiting yourself to shoot and play better. Now, what if I told you if you're not using the meter, you have a higher chance to green your jump shot? Now, you might be wondering, you're probably like, Clutch, why would I take off my meter? I'm trying to see when I release my jump shot. You have a higher chance to make more shots. I recommend you to go to your my court or just play on the twos court for a solid hour without your jump shot meter and tell me how you do. Now it took me a little bit of time to get used to, but once I figured out my jump shots release, it's over. If you leave me wide open, I'm going to green it every single time. My next tip that I have for you guys is to use skill boost every single time you play a game on NBA 2K20. Now just because you use skill boost, you're not considered trash. Just because you use anything like that, you're not considered trash. If people are telling you oh you use skill boost you're trash you can't shoot without skill boost don't listen to him throw on your skill boost and you'll see yourself do 10 times better than the person who said to not use skill boost now if you guys are still watching this video i want you guys to type clutch for df in the comments just so i know if you guys are still here and you're still watching the video if you forgot to drop a like yet on this video, go do that right now and let's try and get 50 likes on this video. I know y'all can do it. Now if you guys are curious to see what my 3 ball is and all my stats, I'm going to show you guys right now. I currently have a 91 3 point shot and a 90 mid range. Now you guys can pause it and look at the rest of that if you want to, but let's continue on with this video. Now it's time to give y'all the best jump shot in NBA 2K20 as of right now. Now this jump shot, as y'all can see from all the clips, it's so consistent, it's so smooth, you just have to find that timing and you guys will love it. So now you want to head on over to your jump shot creator and we're going to edit the jump shot right here. So your lower base is base jump shot 98, alright? There it is right there, that's the base and that's the most important part to your jump shot. Because if you don't have jump shot creator, you're just going to have to go with base 98 itself now moving on to the releases as y'all can see right there release one is release 70 and release two is vince carter now yes this is what i use this jump shot is not made up just for the video i've been using this for about three days now and i really love it and i think you guys will too now the release is right there the blending is 25 percent release 70 and 75 percent vince carter now if you don't like base 98 you can just use plain old jump shot 38 because it works really good too now if this jump shot worked out for you and you guys are playing really good with it let me know in the comments come back to this video and say clutch thank you for that jump shot i've been playing so much better just let me know i'm just curious to see if this jump shot works for everybody else like it does for me now if you guys are wondering what fade i use there it is i use normal four fade and if you guys want my signature styles, please leave a comment, dribble tutorial in the comments down below. I'll get it to you guys as soon as possible. Now that's going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy it and if this jump shot helped you, leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload again. And so you're Noti Gang. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Shut the fuck up. Work hard and stack my money Commas making me cry yeah. You can
I take down